when I first watched it, like when literally at first, literally it just came out like an hour ago, like, and then I watched it. It had like 200 likes and like 70 dislikes, which is not bad, right? But it's been seven not days bad. since that. Mm -hmm. It's been seven days. And I heard this is one of the most heavily racialed videos on YouTube. 71,000 likes, 872,000 dislikes. Almost yeah. a million. In terms of racials, this is this is so bad. What mm -hmm. is happening, man? Oh yeah, my I, god. I don't think I I would still think it get ratioed, but not at this level because I think simply because what Zegler did last year. We'd all heard nightmare PR statements and the, all the footage that people have co compiled. It would, yeah, I would imagine going to be like a 30, 70, maybe, or maybe an eight, a 20, 80 ratio. But this is because of her, it's her doing. Part of it is her, a lot of it is her doing, apart okay. from already the controversial approach of this movie. Okay. So, Rings of Power, we both agree and everyone agree is pretty damn bad. We're talking about season one here, right? It's really, really bad. This is this is the ratio. 74,000 likes, 544,000 dislikes. This came out a year ago. That's yeah. not even as bad as this. This came out 7 days ago. We should also check out The Little Mermaid. Oh yeah, we'll check that out right now. I'll put it in. Yeah. Uh it, but yeah, it's the, it's, it's the so exact bad. same approach, but the, at least the actress had the decency to, you know, not be a bitch. We're doing PR. Okay, let's uh, let's go check out the let's go check out the teaser. I'll check out the teaser and the official trailer, so we so we get a, a good judgment. Now, this is the let's go. So this is the the teaser. This is the teaser. But in terms of ratio, the percentage we're talking about percentage here. We have one point two million likes, three point eight million dislikes for the teaser trailer. So it is a lot of dislikes. But it's the ratio is not as bad. It's sort of like, I would say that looks like 80%, maybe, yeah, maybe like around 80% li uh, dislikes and 20% likes, right? And then the actual, um, what's it called again? The actual uh, trailer is 374 likes and 2 million dislikes. Like I'm looking at the graph right now and this looks like maybe 90%, 90% dislikes and then, 10% likes. But if you go to this one, this is like a 5% like to 95% dislike. This is this is really like the ratio wise, it's it's insane. Like holy yeah. crap. And but the thing is that we all know that Rachel Zegler is not a good person. Right? And um, but the thing is, I do want to talk about her and Gal Gadot. And we do know that with the whole Palestine. Uh, Israel, you know, controversy, and we're coming. We're approaching a year since that incident happened. I think we have about like a maybe a couple more months. But the thing is, like, they started filming the movie. They started doing the movie together before the incident happened. Before before yeah, October seventh yeah. happened, right? Mm -hmm. So now this 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 is going to be a biased uh, article news article because it's coming us coming to us from the Jerusalem Post. Okay, so Gal Gadot haters call for Snow White boycott. Co-star Rachel Zegler voices support for Palestine. So, did you see the fact that she's like, "I'm the most fairest," and then she said that also, and like she posted it on Instagram. And I even showed the pictures to my wife. I was like, "Look, look at this like press tour that they're doing." She looks like she doesn't want to be there, right? Like she's just like looking like 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 she doesn't want to be there. She's like, "Get me out of there," and like, and we do know that like uh, Gal Gadot was a part of the uh, what's it called an Israeli um the I you know the IDF. Israeli defense force and she was you know she was an Israeli um what's it called again I think she was like maybe like a yoga instructor I'm not sure whatever she was ins insanely attractive woman super nice seems like she's super down to earth but she shows support for um Israel but the thing is that you you know this is her you know couple uh it's like her last year and her now is completely different let's go ahead and read this Ziegler posted the trailer on her ex account noting the film would be released in 2025 and thanking viewers for the support and then add it in a comment and always remember free palestine right and i don't think she's palestinian 
she's Colombian, right? Uh, let me check. Let me check. I, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that if you're like you have to be Palestine to support Palestine. I'm not saying that, right? But, yeah. But yeah, but let's see. Yeah, uh, again, it's like it's such a slippery slope. Given you already had extreme negative feedback prior, like last year, and you apparently you, you learned your lesson, which everybody knows you did it. And you still insist on riling up people like this when when your show is about to be released. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, this is so, yeah, you're a PR nightmare all through and through. You should you should have been um they should have just canceled this project and just terminated her. Honestly, yeah. it's, it's it's not worth the monetary trying to recoup the losses for and the really, really terrible reputational damage. I, I don't think she's worth it. I don't yeah. think so. So Eric Hay says uh, she was Miss Israel in 20... Uh, so she was Miss Israel. It makes sense. It makes sense, man. She's insanely attractive. E like, I'm not sure... She had like four kids now or whatever. She still looks great. Yes, Miss Israel 20, uh, 2004. That's crazy, man. But yeah, let's over here. I say lots of people enjoy a celebrity spat. And social media users have been trying to pit Snow White co-stars Rachel Ziegler, who plays the title role and is posted... Support for Gaza ceasefire and Israel uh, and Israeli Gal Gadot, who portrays the evil queen against each other since the release of the trailer and the Disney live action remake of the classic uh, cartoon on Saturday. Ziegler posted on the tra uh, posted the trailer on her X account, noting that the film will be released in 2025 and thanking the viewers and support. And then added, "Always remember free Palestine," which is right over here. Yeah, she's also playing Romeo and Juliet. Right, she's playing Ju. I think she's doing a rehearsal for Juliet. See, Gal Gadot, a former martial arts instructor in the ID. Okay, sorry, she's not a Pilates dancer. Sorry. Uh, uh, in the IDF, has also posted many times on social media calling for the release of the hostages held by Hamas since October 7th, massacre and attack, about 115 whom are still captives in Gaza. She reportedly helped arrange a screening in the Los Angeles in late 2023 of a video compilation of the atrocities committed by Hamas, much of which was filmed by the terrorists themselves and released on social media. Uh, she also took activists to task for not believing that Isra uh, Israeli women were raped on October 7th. Comments showed a Snow White trailer were overwhelmingly negative with two main complaints. The first was that Gadot is so beautiful that it was impossible to believe that she would be jealous of Zegler, which is absolutely true. Like, I'm not saying Rachel Zegler is ugly, but you're putting... You're basically comparing her to like an Amazonian god, like Amazonian goddess, right? So, yep. see, if I was a picture, I would save Gal Gadot for Snow White. One reviewer wrote in the comments on a trailer on YouTube three days ago. Ziegler addressed the assertion by posting a sexy photo of herself on Instagram. Okay, where is the sexy photo? That's not it. Wait, hold on, hold on. Sexy <laughs> photo? I need to see this. Rachel Ziegler IG. Here we go. Um, sexy photo. I'll be the judge of her sexy photo. All right, here we go. This is the one she 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 posted that she she says I'm the fa the fairest, by the way. And then she posts, okay, what do you think? Judging based off, we're objecting, find the shit out of her right now. What do you think about her and her alone? Not compared to Gal Gadot. Just her alone. May she doesn't. I don't think she has horse teeth, so we're, we should be good on this one, Greg. <laughs> so I'll go ahead. Go, go go ahead and think about it. I'll scroll through her photos. The first one looks like it was, you know, uh, they did a ton of lighting in the first one. Okay. What about they this one? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Not the best, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Compared, like you said, standalone, it's fine, but nothing really, really great in my opinion. Doesn't does average at best. Yeah, yeah, I would average say so too. Enough. Now, now, I, I, I just basically looked at the comments right there. I'm looking at the first five comments. Gal is much, much more beautiful than you. Every mirror will tell you this. <laughs> Second one, Gal is the fairest. Third one, suddenly you look so evil. Fourth one, not even the fairest in the room. 
laugh my ass, laugh my fucking ass off. And then the fifth one, bro is not the fairest. Yeah. So the thing is that, of course, uh, like for me, I think she's average looking. Um, and the fact that, what the fuck is this, man? What, what the hell is this? Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I look, Ga- Gal Gadot. She she's pretty she's pretty slim too. I'm not saying she's not, but like in terms of looks, like Alga Dot, just it's not even close. Let's go back to over here. Um, so uh, right over here, comment show the uh, over right here. She would be uh, jealous of Ziggler. If I was a prince, I would save Gal Gadot. Uh, one viewer commented, and, and three days ago, Ziggler addressed this assertion, posting a sexy photo of herself uh, on Instagram with the caption, "The fairest." By the way, the second group who gave the trailer a thumbs up were those who called for a boycott of the film on the grounds that Wonder Woman star Gal Gadot is a Zionist and that any movie starring a Zionist should be boycotted. That, that, sound, that sounds sort of racist, man. Yeah. yeah, that, That's pretty damn racist in my opinion. Right? Of course, right over here we have the darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Sorry, that's my terrible impression of Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> See, quote, Gal Gadot playing a villain in this movie is perfect casting, wrote one viewer alongside Snow White trailer on YouTube. Another said, the Zionist soldier baby, oh, fuck. baby killer Gal Gadot is a perfect casting for an evil queen. Boycott this movie and any movie Gal Gadot takes part in. Wow. Wow. Gal- Gadot's post. Gadot wasn't uh, drawn into this debate, but simply posted an Instagram story to her 108 million followers with a photo of the late civil rights uh, crusader Martin Luther King Jr. And quote, uh, a quote from him, which I just read. Uh, and then uh, beneath it, she posted her Hebrew signature. Uh, in addition to posting the trailer, Gadot posted a photo and video clips of her at D23, Disney event with Ziegler, where the two t- uh, looking happy and comfortable with each other smiled at the camera. Ziegler has no photos on social media of herself with Gadot, although she has posted photos with her, uh, w- sorry, with other castmates. Ziegler mm, also has also posted about calls for ceasefire in Gaza and links to her crowdfunding charities that provide aid to Gaza. Now, what are your thoughts on, uh, you know, in terms of like, you know, the the behavior between Gal Gadot and the behavior of Rachel Ziegler in terms of, you know, social media presence? Yeah, it's they're, they're definitely not going to show that they're not in good terms because like that's definitely going to hurt Disney as a whole and the show. So maybe based on the, this, like there's you don't see them together. Like that's really kind of strange. Because like usually, usually they are right the protagonists and the antagonists for these shows. You see them photo opping together during these events. Yeah. But the fact that they you don't see any, which is it, it says something for me. It says something that they're not maybe they're behind the scenes. They're not in good terms because of again their political stances. And yeah, I, again, you shouldn't be using the entertainment uh, product as your political platform. Like these people never learn. They never. They'll keep doing the same thing until they finally get. You know, they finally get terminated or they get unemployed. Yeah, and the thing is, I, I the way that Rachel Ziegler is going about, like the way that she's acting, she it feels like she's. It, it feels like she she comes off as very powerful. Like I can do whatever I want. Like I think that the fact that she has the um, the people who are pro Palestine. Right, like I, I'm not saying pro Hamas, right? Because I'm pretty sure she didn't say she's pro Hamas, but pro Palestine, right? Uh, so showing that there, uh, you know, there's a lot of young people, there's a lot of uh, you know, uh, leftists, there's a lot of people in politics that are like pro pro Palestine and pro Hamas, and the thing is, uh, it's just I I I think that her PR person was like. Your fan base is all young people who are pro Palestine. Don't post any photos of you and Gal Gadot. And if you like, don't post it. Like, she probably has to run the the, the stuff that she posts on social media by her PR person to make sure that like she can keep uh, a front. Like, m- maybe she does actually have nothing against Gal Gadot. I, I I'm 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 assuming, but I'm pretty sure that's not true. She probably hates her. 
But it's just like, at least be professional about this, right? And it feels like Rachel is not because she's pretty, she's pretty young. She's like in like her early 20s, maybe like 24 or something like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, let's go and continue reading this. Let's see, as early as January, Newsweek predicted that there would be a uh, be chill, chilliness between Zegler and Gadot on the press tour, saying the two actresses were on a collision course. The article quoted an Instagram poster as uh, saying the Snow White press tour is going to be very awkward with Genocide Barbie, but good. She's speaking for what's right. Wow. I don't see how you can be in Hunger Games mo uh, movie and be a pro yes. and be pro Israel <laughs> in this conflict. Uh, Ziegler recently starred in the latest Hunger Games, um, the Hunger Games, the Ballad of the Songbirds. Her big break in Hollywood uh, uh, came in when she started in the movie by another well-known Zionist, Steven Spielberg, who also cast her in Maria, uh, the West Side Story. Wow, dude. Like, what the hell, man? Like, these people are, like, pretty damn crazy. Like, I, like for me, I have no, I, I have no, no, I, I don't have a dog in this fight. Like, I just want people to stop killing one another yeah she's 23 yeah she's pretty damn young right like she's she's pretty damn like insufferable immature she she lacks wisdom like the thing is that i i don't have a dog in this fight i like mm -hmm. in terms of like same here like just stop fighting stop yeah. killing one another i'm not i'm not gonna pretend i i fully know what's going on it's like, yeah i'm not yeah i'm not gonna speak that'll cause further division among people yeah, let's go and finish this couple of paragraphs left. Those are slightly longer memory uh, than most social media users will note that, that the anti-Israel movement has called for boycotts of nearly every movie Ga uh, Gadot has been in, uh, made in Hollywood, at least from the time she began starring as Wonder Woman. Some Arab countries, such as Lebanon, have refused to show her films, although reportedly Wonder Woman fans in these countries stream them, them online. Those with even longer memories will re, uh, recall that Egypt banned Elizabeth Taylor, a uh, convert to Judaism, from shooting scenes for Cleopatra there uh, because she had contributed to charities in Israel and banned her movies. The films of another, yeah, that's, that's, that's fucked up on me, uh, another con uh, convert, Marilyn Monroe, were also banned in Egypt. Uh, all this controversy stirred up by the fairy tale movie trailer shows how politicized. The world has become one ex user Uri Korlianchik pointed out. I'm, I fucked that up. Pointed out Disney have an interesting marketing strategy for Snow White. Uh, it co stars in the Israeli Gal Gadot, making sure Isra Israel haters will boycott it, and Israel hater Rachel Ziegler, making sure pro -Is uh, Israelis will be loath to uh, watch it. Uh, there are more uh, alienate neutral viewers too. Yeah. So, um, to be honest, this movie is no one's gonna watch this movie. It's not because it won't be because of the it's not the because of the political, yeah, political reason. It's because of Rachel yeah. Ziegler. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Like the people who watch this movie, they, they won't watch the movie because it looks really bad. The CGI is really bad. The like like she can sing. Don't get me wrong, she can sing, but she looks really bad. The CGI is bad. Um no one's gonna agree that. The tall Amazon a Amazonian goddess on the left is is uglier than the person on the right. No, no one's ever gonna gonna say that is true. But there are gonna be people who are, are that did want to watch this, who are actually interested in watching this. Now they're not going to watch this because you're either Team Gal or Team Rachel. So it's um, but yeah, man, it's uh, it, it's pretty crazy. Uh, overall, I think that um. The movie is gonna flop not because of, like you said, Gray, policy and 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 um, you know politics. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.